welcome back to the channel yo in this video we're gonna be testing out the hydrophobicy between the mcguire's ultimate quick wax which is a synthetic palmer technology wax new improved formula 14.99 walmart versus the mother's ultimate hybrid spray on wipe off ceramic spray wax SO2 wax technology with the mother's ultimate hybrid spray wax ceramic. Alright, now what I want to find out here today, guys, can a traditional spray wax be just as hydrophobic as a ceramic wax? I don't know. Could it? It could and could not be. I don't know. That's why we run these little tests. And I'm gonna simply spray on maybe two coats and I'm gonna just Buff it back off the panel. I got this little steel tool here just to separate. I hope it stay there, you know. <laughs> if it don't stay there, then we had to look for something different to put there just to separate the um, two products. You know, that's all I'm doing that for. Uh, make it find something a little better than this. Okay, that might work better than my little tool that I had. So anyway, let's go ahead and spray down the Meguiar's. Give it a nice shake up. All right, here we go. Just a little area here is what I'm doing. Just on the other side of the two, as you guys can see here. Okay. I'm going to hit it with two coats. Then we'll move to the other side here. Fresh clean microfiber cloth. Brand new in the pack. This stuff smells amazing. That's one thing about Meguiar's. It smells so good. Now, as you can see, it's already starting to beat on top of itself. Okay. Now that's 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 what I test for, guys. We'll let that cure all the way out before we water test it. Honestly, I, I don't go by a longevity of a product because I, I use a product that I know lasts a long time, like Soft 99. I just rather put in the work on a product that I know is going to be a long-term product versus using some products that I don't know about. All right, I'm going to shake this up. Here's the Mother Ceramic Wax here. Comes out relatively thick, as you guys can see there. Let's wipe that in on the panel. You know, everything been surface prepped in a way with mothers. I've got chemical guys to surface prep. Okay. Go ahead and spray another coat down. A lot of this comes out, as you guys can see here. Okay. And this this what I look for, guys. I look for hydrophobicity of a product at the beginning. I know some people talk about longevity and longevity and all that. I don't go by that. I go by how it is when I apply it. Cause these products are so simple for me to apply. I mean, who worry about how long they last? They're just easy to apply. I just don't really care. I could just come behind it and reapply. Okay. The tool got moved. I should have used tape, but I couldn't locate it. So that don't really matter no way. Cause you can tell where it was. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead on a water test these products all right wipe this side make sure everything all coping steady all right next time we'll have some tape okay now what i'm looking for now is the hydrophobicy and i'll tell you guys that's what y'all should look for as well i mean how long a product lasts in my opinion doesn't matter because especially when it's so easy to apply. I mean, I, you can do a whole car less than 15 minutes. 
using both of these products, no matter what size it, it is, you know. So if you ain't got 15 minutes of time, well, you shouldn't be detailing. All right, so let's get into the water behaviors, what I look for. Tilt you guys over. We're going to start off with the Meguiar's Ultimate Quick Wax. Here we go. Impressive water beating by Meguiar's. Okay, as you can see there. Impressive water beating. And that's why I look for how does it behave, how does it be water when I first apply these products. I ain't looking for a month later or two months later because I know it's going to deteriorate some. So, you know, I can just reapply. It's just so easy to apply. If you ain't got 15, 20 minutes of time from a job, then you shouldn't be detailing. That's why you need to pay somebody. All right, let's try the mother ceramic. Here we go. Now, uh, I don't see a whole lot there, but it seems to me the Maguire beads is a, might, might be just a tad bit. I don't know. I ain't gonna call it. They look similar alike. Let's hit it some more, some more water. Very similar. Very similar. Very similar. All right, so this proved that both of these products is very hydrophobic. Um, Both of these products are... Uh, easy to apply and looks to me like the water behavior between the two is similar and that's like i told you guys that's what i look for i go by which one of these products is going to last me the longest not the longest but how it's going to be off my paint when i first apply i don't really care about how long they last really because simple fact they are just so easy for me to apply all right, so let's hit it again, some more water. And you can see the beading action from both of these products are amazing. Yeah, both are amazing. About a tie, I would say, from both products. That's my take on it. And that's what I look for. Um, how tough they are through chemical tests and all that kind of stuff. I don't look for that, you know, because... I feel like they're just too easy for me to apply. You know, I don't really care. I can apply every week if I want to, every two weeks. I mean, you know, it's no big deal. I mean, I see if it was hard to apply, like Soft 99 is a little harder to apply, you know, and take more time and all that kind of stuff. But something you just spray and wipe like this, I really don't see the need to worry about how long it lasts. You know, I just go ahead on and reapply, reapply the products. That's what I do. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy it, man. Let's give y'all some insight. They be about the same. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Just having a little fun. Till next time, y'all stay tuned for my next video. I'm out. Peace.